Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the laws of Kashus of Rabbi Yom enforced, and he writes like this, speaking about Gavinas Akum, the cheese of the non-Jew. What if you're in a place where there's nothing to be concerned about? There are those from the Rishonim, from the earlier commentators, who say the cheese of the non-Jew is fine. Kibim Koimoisehem, because in their places where they lived, Lohayu Anachem Mamidem Bior Keva, the Goyim, when they would make the cheese, they never would pour the milk and cheese product into the stomach lining of the animal. Umimela, and that means, Ain Tam Leesar Gvinoiseyem. There's no reason then to prohibit eating their cheese, because remember again, the only milk that's going to be able to be binding and congeal is going to be milk that comes from a kosher animal. So therefore you don't have to worry that it's coming from a non-kosher animal. And the second concern is, is that it's in the cave, it's in the stomach lining of the non-kosher animal, or the nevela, the animal that was shechted, that was not shechted properly. And therefore the tam, the flavor of the iser, of the prohibition, that's in the lining of the stomach meat, is going to go into the milk, and then you're not going to have kosher cheese. However, if you live in a place where they put it into some kind of casing, which is either synthetic or made of some other kind of material, which is not going to be animal material, so then you really have nothing to worry about over here, says Rav Forst. And therefore that's why there are those Rishonim who hold that it's okay. Aval das reva Rishonim, however, the majority of most of the Rishonim is Shekvinais Akum Nesu B'minyin Hasan Hedrin. Who are the ones that asked that prohibit us from eating the cheese of the non-Jew? That was the Sanhedrin. And we know that they agree that when it comes to Gavinas Akam, it comes to the cheese of a non-Jew. This is something that the wheels of this prohibition were set in motion by the Sanhedrin. And even if the reason why the Sanhedrin said, you're not allowed to eat this cheese, is no longer applicable. For example, in the case where they don't, um, they don't make the cheese in the stomach lining of an animal, the second bezdin, the second court of law, group of sages, cannot come along and nullify and cancel out the words of the first Sanhedrin, Elim King Gadahu Minarishan, unless they are greater, unless they are as bigger or they're wiser in the Chachma. And it doesn't work like that. No one was greater than Sanhedrin. So therefore, there's no way to undo the Gezer that they made. Therefore, the Minag, which is to prohibit the cheese of the non Jew, even in a case where they make it in some kind of synthetic packaging over here, and it's not sitting in the stomach lining of the animal. Vain lifferts gadala tira, a person should not be part together, which means they shouldn't break down this law and mat and allow for eating the cheese of the non Jews. So this is the prevailing minog says we're forced that if you're gonna eat a cheese that has to be cheese that is made by the made by the non Jew, there's gonna to have to be some kind of hashkacha, some kind of watching over to make sure that it fulfills all the conditions. And then he writes, Pikuach Yisrael B'Gvinas Nochim, if a Jew is watching the making process of the cheese, Imra Yehudi Chalivas Abahemus, if the Yid, the Jew, saw the milking of the cows, Va'asiyas HaGvina, and he also saw the making the cheese, V'Roshel Anita Misei Cheshum Davar Asa, and he saw that the Goy did not put any Asa, anything prohibited, any foreign substance of the like, inside of this uh, milk or the cheese making process, even though it's still really considered the cheese of a non-Jew, because the non-Jew is making it all, so the Jew did not do anything to involve himself in the making of the cheese, besides the fact that he was watching it be made. Um, and this is the custom, says Rav Forst, that in fact, that if you would have cheese, that was made from milk, that was a chal of Yisrael milk, because the Jew watched the milk be milked, and then he watched the goy make the cheese. So even though the Jew's not doing anything, nevertheless, it's still not going to fall into the category of 
real Gevinas Akum, the cheese of a non Jew, and therefore in that case, the Jew would be allowed to eat it. Have a wonderful day.